everyone who has come to love it. So we're going to play a song now. We're going to play this song once and once only. And uh, it's, a, it's 21 years almost to the day since we first came to Washington, D.C. And uh, between you and me, it was a difficult day that day. And we, we um, have come a long way since. And back then there was a radio station, I think it's shut now, called WHFS. Is that correct? Yeah. Is it, it's no longer, is it no longer exists, right? It's a shutdown. Yeah, exactly, the HF Festival, exactly. So, we, we had no idea what that was, and we showed up here, and uh, we're gonna sing a song about the story of that day, if that's okay with you. It's a Washington song, only for Washingtonians and the surrounding districts, and after it's played once, it will never be played again. <laughs> that's because it's not very good. <laughs> okay. HFS invited, and we got excited, so we came to Washington. But this was the age of new metal, and our songs were a little more chill. We were missing the mark, because we weren't making part. What the fuck are we doing on this bill? those bands and their music, but their fans didn't like us one bit. They did not like the mellow or the way we played yellow, soon they were throwing all kinds of shit. There were shoes, there were CDs and bottles, I was dodging all over the place. And just when I thought I would never be caught, a set of keys hit me smack in the face. Oh, Washington, D.C., so important for the band and me. The day we got set free in Washington, D.C. painful memory, man. <laughs> we were down, we were depressed, it was awful. We thought about calling it a day. But we got back on the road, because in came Dave Grohl. He said, I, hey, I like the way you guys play. Thank you, Dave. So we kept touring and touring, traveling around the house. Let's fuck through it. And so we kept touring and touring, traveling around the country in a van. And soon the U.S. was right up with the best, the world's most wonderful fan. So, what is the moral of this story? Well, all of us have our favorite thing. And it's okay with us if you don't get the fuss or you don't like the way that I sing. But 
it's funny, because I once met the fellow who threw up his keys to do harm. He was sweet, he was kind, now he's changed his mind. He's got a cold play tattoo on his arm. Thank you, Washington, D.C. Thank you, everybody.